Hi friends. Welcome to our channel. Tally Solutions has recently launched its new version called Tally Prime. This is an enhanced version of Tally ERP9. In this video, we will discuss how to download Tally Prime, how to install it in the correct way, how to activate the license, and main features of Tally Prime. Keep watching. Getting started with Tally Prime is extremely simple. You can set up the application in less than a minute. Let's install Tally Prime. Search Tally Solutions in your browser. You can see here the link which is coming first. Click on this link. It will lead you to Tally Solutions official website. Click the download button. Here you can see the system configuration required to install Tally Prime. Please check your system configuration before installing Tally Prime. The link is available in the description below as well to download Tally Prime. Click the download button. Open the setup file once you download. Here you will get this dialog box. If you are installing the Tally for the first time, it will show install button here. Please remember, if you already have Tally ERP9 in your system, don't click on this update button. Because once you click update button, then your ERP9 version will convert to Tally Prime and you will not be able to use Tally ERP9. Click more option button and click install new. In this way you will be able to work on both Tally ERP9 and Tally Prime. Within no time it will complete the installation process. Click to start Tally Prime. Here you have to select reactivate your existing license. If you already have a license or Activate new license. If you have new license. Once you activate the license you will reach to the gateway of Tally. Here you can see, as soon as you open the Tally Prime, a company is already opened, which was created before. If you are installing Tally for the first time, then no company will show up here. The interface is totally changed. You can see a new look in every field. In the left hand side, you can see the Tally version, which you are using, and on the top you can see several tabs. This is the gateway of Tally. Almost same like in Tally ERP9. This is the button panel, which is very simple, only showing the required fields. Entirely different from its previous version. As you can see there is no bottom line here. Totally removed. Here you can see the company informations about the company which is open. Now let's check out the features in detail. In this top menu, first item is company, here you can create, alter, change, select, shut, etc. If you want to create a company, you can do it from here. In this new version of Tally, one of the noticeable feature is, you can use mouse, to select any field. See here, once you click the create button, side button panel has changed. Move on to the next button, data. This is related to your data backup, data restore, split, etc. Next field is data synchronization. As you know, this feature is using for transferring the data between two Tally locations. This feature is very new and important in Tally Prime. By clicking this field, you can go to any reports like balance sheet, profit and loss, cash flow, stock, receivable payables, etc. You can use this button, even if you are in the middle of any voucher entry. For example, you are recording a payment transaction, and you want to check the ledger, before saving the voucher. You can do it, by simply clicking the go to tab, without skipping the voucher entry, check the report, or ledger account, 
and come back and save that entry. Next fields, import, export, email, and print, are are similar, to the previous version of Tally. Now it's more easy to use by simply clicking on it. Same as go to button, you can use print button in the middle of any entry. For example, you are recording purchase, and in between you have to print a ledger, in the same time. You don't need to skip the current voucher entry. You can click print, then click others, and from there, you can choose any of these list, simply by clicking on it. Here we will choose purchase ledger. Print it. And, you can come back to your unsaved purchase entry and finish it. Now, move on to masters. First field is create. Accounting and Inventory Master can be created through this Create button. If you want to see full list, click Show More. As you can see, there is an option to change company. If you click that, there are two companies opened, and you choose any one of them and create the master. If you want to create a new company, click Create Company. No need to skip the current field. That means, you can create masters for multiple companies, within this same field, by simply selecting the company from the list, or by creating a new company. This feature, you can see, when you are creating a ledger as well. Voucher entry is almost same as in its previous version. Let's check some of the voucher entries. This is payment voucher. This is how the sales voucher is. We are not going in detail, in this video, as this is a quick review on Tally Prime. We will be discussing in detail, in our upcoming sessions, about reports and how to create masters and vouchers. So don't forget to subscribe our channel, to get our latest videos on Tally Prime. The last two fields, import voucher and create masters are additional TDLs, which is not comes with normal license. These features, we are using for importing sales, and purchases from Excel, to Tally. Contact us to know more about the purchasable TDLs. In this video, we have covered almost all the main features in Tally Prime. Some of the main points, which we noticed are. The use of mouse, to select, and scroll each fields. Go to button to view reports, while passing voucher entries. Use of shortcut keys, for cut copy and paste. Select companies, while passing voucher entries and master creations. The remote access feature, which was in the previous version, but in this version it's more convenient and we can use in mobile device as well. And mainly, the change in interface, which make Tally more simple. If you want to learn more about Tally Prime, or want to know, any specific feature in detail, please comment. We will be happy to upload those, in our next sessions. And if you like our video, please click the like button. Thanks for watching.